Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to uh, Lucky Corners in uh, Soviet Republic with the uh, resources and workers. Now, uh, the astute among you who have watched the previous episode will notice that uh, the population is higher and that the date is later. Uh, yeah, I, I wound time forward uh, about an hour 15 of gameplay and I thought, uh, you know, I, I wanted some, some stuff to actually happen, right? Uh, you know, get to the point where, where some things uh, had actually happened and maybe uh, there's something a little more interesting than, oh, let's upgrade this road over there and upgrade that road over there and so on, right? But I did capture the game video while I was doing that. So I'm going to give you a time lapse of it here, uh, which uh, if you might find that nauseating or something, I'll try and remember to put a time code you can skip to uh, in the edit, but uh, if I forget, well, it's going to be about eight or nine minutes, so uh, you can uh, skip forward, uh, you know, about that far, and uh, yeah, uh, so I'm going to, uh, I'm, what I'm going to do is, uh, like, how this is working is I'm going to play the video at eight times speed in a video player, and I'm going to yammer on top of it. Yeah, it's... Uh, terribly exciting right yeah i'm sure i can find eight or nine minutes worth of stuff to yammer on about that is totally uh, relevant to something uh or maybe i maybe i won't uh so, yeah you'll see or hear i suppose anyway uh while it's running uh, you'll want to note the population number and uh and the uh uh you know time passing and and so on uh but Anyway, without uh, any further ado, I'm going to uh, switch over to the uh, uh, video player here, and uh, yeah, uh, then I'll get the video playing. Uh huh. Uh, let's full screen that. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm using VLC. Uh, so uh, so sue me. Uh, right. Uh, so, uh, let's, uh, get things, uh, rolling here. Uh, so you, I'm going to have the, uh, population statistics screen up, uh, on and off during this thing, you know, watching it, uh, and, uh, you know, keep, do keep an eye on the population number at the top, uh, and that will, that will give you some idea, uh, what's going on here. Now, uh, meanwhile, I'm going to be upgrading roads, uh, basically uh, messing with uh, infrastructure and uh, you know making sure some things get built. That's mostly the point of rolling this forward. I did have a comment from uh, on a previous from someone I forgot to note their name down on on a previous video who suggested that my problem with uh, population growth might actually be due to pollution due to the proximity of the heating plants and the uh, factories. I thought that might potentially be, uh, be uh, 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 beyond to something. So I actually, uh, offline, I, uh, I did a quick test. I uh, built a uh, pollution monitor just to see what the pollution was doing. And I, it didn't seem like it was uh, high enough that it should uh, stop uh, population growth. So I, uh, I thought, okay, I, I kind of need to wind time forward to see what's really going on. Now, my theory is that it's uh, death waves due to inviting a bunch of my, uh, immigrants all at once. Uh, so they come in and they're all the same age. And that's, uh, you know, like you could say that's a bit of a flaw in the uh, game engine. Uh, but the, the immigrants are created all at the same time, so they're all the same age, and then they die all at the same time later. Uh, and that would certainly uh, account for the sudden drops in population. Uh, if, uh, I've taken a look at the population statistics graph, and it does have a steady upward slope, except for the discontinuity points where it drops uh, quickly. Right, uh, so... Um, you, you can see there's a bit of a graphical glitch with the uh, dirt piles for that one warehouse there. That's kind of amusing. Uh, anyway, uh, the whole thing here is uh, 
uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to roll it forward. And you can see at this point, the population is already up over 25, uh, 2520. Uh, that's, uh, that's definitely, I see hovering over deaths. You can see with the, the spikiness and the death uh, count there. Uh, yeah, uh, so uh, basically that's that. So uh, over time uh, here, we'll get past winter, get into the summer here, and uh, roads, a whole bunch of roads will end up paved as a result. And uh, you know, overall, uh, things go uh, fairly well. It's just about time for the snow melt. Uh, right, now uh, I do want to touch briefly on the controversy uh, happening in the uh, current events with the uh, game having been taken down off of Steam briefly. Uh, and that was due to a DMCA notice from a disgruntled guy who had uh, published a guide on Cosmonaut mode. I won't say who it is. You can find it, find out if you want to. And uh, he was claiming copyright on the game uh, with the DMCA notice uh, because of, uh, basically boils down to, from what I can tell, a contract dispute with the Game Developers 3 division. Uh, that appears to be settled now. The game is back up on Steam. Uh, likely due to the uh, mandatory cooldown period on the DMCA counter notice that 3 Division filed expiring. But uh, the guy also did uh, say he wasn't going to uh, pursue it further. So, you know, I suppose. Uh, but anyway, uh, the whole thing is a mess. And uh, the DMCA notices, as far as I can tell from a layman's uh, understanding of the uh, situation, were not legitimate. And uh, this guy, who's apparently a lawyer, should have known better. Uh, they were clearly used as an extortion tactic to get what he wanted. Uh, it's uh, something, I don't think uh, anything much more is going to come from it. Uh, he, he, three division probably didn't have a case on the contract dispute and the cost of going after him on the copyright uh, on the DMCA abuse is probably not worth it especially since they're not in the United States uh, but one of the content uh, uh, producers who also had their stuff uh, taken down with DMCA notices um, they, they may have a case and they, you know they may pursue it or they may not it may not be worth it to them uh, it depends on what their actual uh, damages were, right? Is it worth their time? Uh, but anyway, a bit of drama. And uh, what this basically means is uh, if you, uh, you, you be careful in your co conversations with people if you, if you have anything like you, you know, don't say anything that could be construed as a contract uh, if uh, you don't intend to enter into one, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, also, be careful with uh, what you say in public, right? Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, I, I, the guy does seem to be, and this is uh, just, uh, uh, you know, honest personal opinion, he seems to be a bit unhinged. So uh, pursuing it further, uh, I think, would have just led to a nuclear result. Uh, so uh, whatever advice 3 Division had that suggested just settle with the guy, uh, which seems to be what happened, it was probably not terrible advice. Uh, you know, the balance of harms and everything, right? But anyway, uh, that's basically all I want to say about that. I hadn't really talked about it, so I just thought I'd uh, mention it. Uh, none of my content was uh, tagged as far as I can, I, I'm aware. So, yeah, uh, so, so all, there, there is all, all of that. But anyway, uh, we're getting uh, much closer to the present time. You can see here on screen that the population is up to 2,700. And it hasn't had a precipitous drop at any point during this uh, time frame. And I, th I would think that uh, there would have been, uh, if it was a health issue uh, due to the pollution or something, I would have thought there would have been a substantial uh, decrease or uh, the increase would have been uh, you know, slower. But I think part of it was the overall low population plus the... Uh, uh, plus the death waves from uh, the immigrants uh, dying. Now, I would expect, because I had those uh, other, uh, in the previous episode there, I invited some more uh, immigrants. I expect there will be a couple more uh, population uh, drops uh, due to that. 
but I'm not, uh, I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. Now, the uh, time lapse is just about coming to an end here. And uh, when it does, I will uh, switch back to the game. And then we'll, we'll move on here. But as you can see, I've basically just been doing the uh, road upgrades and, and stuff like that, right? So uh, there's, there's not a lot going on here. But anyway, I'm going to leave the, uh, I'm going to leave it here. So uh, back to the game. Yeah, I, I cut the uh, time lapse a little bit before the actual end of the of the time lapse, uh, and I did that just because uh, there wasn't really much more to see. But it was basically more of the same. But basically, now we're back in the game, and uh, you know I can you know get time rolling here. Uh, so uh, we check in here. Uh, we've got. Uh, in the population number here, there's 440 uh, uh, children under under six or under seven. We have 500 and some seven to 15, and we've got 200 and some, uh, you know, at uh, university level. And nobody doesn't have a flat, so that's good. Now uh, we have 78% higher education, so that's definitely good. Now what I want to do at uh, this point here. I want to go and check on this area here. So what do we need to do over here? Well, I need to get fuel into the uh, places here, uh, into here, and into the distribution office here. And then I need to bring uh, resources in uh, here to... Uh, fill up the the stuff now uh, how am I going to do that well I think I'm going to put a dedicated line for gravel just to bring gravel in here and then I'm going to put I'm going to use the distribution office here to bring in the uh, steel boards uh, all of that stuff and uh, these guys here so I'm going to need, uh, well, what am I going to need here? First of all, where's my fuel distribu distributors uh, op operation? Uh, I have one. Where did I put them? Uh, you would think I'd remember where I put my stuff. Oh, they're over here, aren't they? Fuel distributors is full. Uh, do I have another fuel distributor? Uh, I need to build a fuel distributor. Uh, okay. Well, that is a thing I can do. So that's under, I always forget where these things are. It's under general cargo. Um, a small distribution office I can stick in right about uh, here. No, zoom in a bit so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, yeah. So I could put it right here. Okay. Uh, good. I go in, build that. Uh, so I need to build that. Okay. And then I'm going to be running uh, trucks that bring uh, stuff from the from here. And I'm going to uh, run... Uh, okay, so what, what am I going to need here for, for uh, trucks? I'm going to need... Uh, I'm going to need a... Covered hull, uh, total capacity. Uh, that one does, yeah. That's the big one, right? You know, I think I'm going to use the big one here. And it'll uh, fill things up faster. Oh, I need a power supply over here as well. And then uh, oh, one of those should be sufficient. And then open hull. Uh, total capacity. Uh, this one, yeah, I'm going to need the other four in here, I think, will be open hulls. So I'll buy those. Now, I'm going to need power over here as well. 
Uh, now, I think I can get away with a solar plant of some kind. I have a couple of modded plants here. Uh, power. Where's power? Power plant. Uh, these ones don't need uh, workers. Uh, so what do we need here? Uh, we need... 0.05 megawatts there. 0 0.05, so 0 0.1. 0 0.15. 0 0.2. 0.95. 1. 1.5. So we need about 2 megawatts maximum. Uh, so that uh, this is megawatt hours. Um, how big is this guy? 21 megawatt hours. Um... And this one is see I could put this right here and that powers everything uh, it, it, you might feel like this is cheating right uh, not having uh, uh, workers uh, involved in this uh, but there's no workers involved in any of these buildings, right? So uh, having just a little local power operation out here, I'm just going to try that. I want to see how these things work, actually. So I'm going to try that. So if I go in here and I do that, okay. And I guess... I guess I can actually uh, assign, uh, so we're going to uh, drop off, this is going to be unload, and it's going to be no, no, um, no, uh, we want to drop it off here, yeah. Uh, it's going to be steel, prefab, bricks, boards. Um, oh, no, we want unload. Yeah. Uh, steel, prefab, bricks, boards, components. Okay. And we're going to go for 90% full at those. And now uh, we need uh, pickups at the various uh, pickup points. So here, where we're going to load bricks. Uh, here, where we're going to load prefabs. Okay, that's bricks and prefabs. And over here, where we're going to load uh, boards. Yep. And where am I getting the steel from? Probably the customs. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Customs. Uh, we're going to load steel. Yep. Because uh, I don't have a steel steel mill up yet. Uh, and uh, until I do, uh, I'm going to be getting it from customs. Uh, okay, so those guys can do a thing there. Yeah, and just uh, collect things. Now, over here, uh, that little bit of road is done, so I can go ahead and build this, which shouldn't take very long. Uh, we do have plenty of uh, fuel uh, production going on. Uh, I think I'm going to have to start exporting bitumen.
Uh, yeah, uh, that does seem like something that I might need to do. <laughs> that is okay. Uh, I'm, I'm okay with that. It actually pays decently to export it, so... Uh, uh, you know, I could take a, uh, a bit of it and uh, yeah, just get a little bit of cash out of it. Uh, but I'll wait until it fills up completely. Okay. So now we can see we have some bricks in here. Uh, in here, we don't have anything yet. Okay. Oh, I didn't... Uh, I need to also load these at customs right okay yeah okay so we got some stuff uh loaded in there yeah so i mean that is a that is some progress um yeah i think i probably want to be uh building that as well right now how's this coming it's coming okay yep uh 2900 population now uh yeah okay that's fine uh right okay just need some stuff there yeah okay uh so far so good Oh, those are, are built. Are are you actually do you actually have anything scheduled? No. I should probably schedule some rail work. Yeah. Like perhaps into here. Yeah, perhaps. And over to here. Yeah. Uh, might as well get that going. Uh, we actually have in here. Uh, one workers so you know it can might as well slowly uh, do nothing in the background right uh, in the meantime this guy you are right uh, we're gonna rename you uh, Okay, it's location B. Yeah, okay. What I'll do is I'll set... Uh, so, do I have this assigned to any distribution? No. I'm not... Uh, I'm not filling it with uh, gas either. Okay. Right. Uh huh. Well. Okay. Well, uh, what I'll definitely do is I will uh, fill it up with uh, uh, these two will will uh, mutually service each other, and that and then uh, this one. Uh, you know, I'll send the trucks out here and uh, for the distribution office and the construction uh, office. Uh, once those are fueled up, I'll buy a couple of choppers and uh, some mechanisms, right? Uh, so I'll need a couple of cranes, a, a paver, a, a, a roller, um, couple excavators and uh, choppers to move stuff around and that should be uh, that should be enough to uh, to get everything uh, uh, rolling uh, see we got room for two four six eight and 12, 14 mechanisms so uh,
Yeah. Uh, well, I, I suppose I could uh, assign... Um... Oh. Oh! Right. Okay. Uh, something else... Uh, no, I can assign here. Right. That was the point of that. Assign this. Gravel. All of those. Yep. Ah, and uh, asphalt and concrete I need to sort out as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, can I fit... Okay, I've got... Um, concrete. Okay. And then I've got asphalt. Now, I don't have workers yet. Uh, I need to get a source for workers. Now, where am I going to uh, get that? Uh, yeah, I'm going to need a passenger platform of some kind. That's in range of the workers. Now, I think down here I could do that. Okay. Right. Ah, this is done. Okay. So, uh, first thing we do is we add a connection here where we can load. Yeah. And then we add a connection here where we can unload. Uh huh. Oh, we should uh, actually buy some uh, oil tanks. I think I want the large tanker here. Now, this might seem like a waste, but if I'm going to run the fuel deliveries a fair distance out, uh, this might be this might be the way to do it. And I can afford them, so yeah. Okay, so we do that, and over here we've got I don't know. Uh, oh, right, I can take this out. Uh, yep. Yeah. And I can I go over here, and you can fill this guy up. Yep. Yeah. And then you, yeah, okay. Uh, okay, in here we have we have fuel, and now the trucks will arrive at okay. And over here, do we have fuel? Uh, okay, we're loading stuff from the fuel source, right? And then we come across, and yeah, okay, we have fuel in both of those now. Okay, they really need to get the stacking order stuff uh, working properly. So clicking something underneath doesn't uh, clicking something doesn't activate the stuff underneath. Uh, right. Okay. So here. Uh, I go and add um, here and here. Yeah. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't think I need fuel there because the uh, choppers will fuel here. Okay. And you. Okay. That is uh, doing its thing. Yep. Okay. Now, uh, can you, out of curiosity, uh, right. So if I go in here, I, I haven't, uh, okay. So if I go, uh, no, it's in here. So I'm just going to try a thing here. Bus stop. 
So if I build a bus stop, and then I go in here, um, and I try and, no, you can't link it with bus stops. Okay. Uh, that's what I thought, so I'm just going to have to go in and uh, go in where, no, it was, it was in here. Uh, four citizens, airport terminal, um, passenger heliport platform. Can a heliport all on its own uh, wait no this is a that's a heliport cargo platform uh-huh um Can one of these actually pick up, all on its own, can it pick up, can it hold uh, passengers? Well, yeah, because that's huge, right? So I want to try and see if this will... Okay, so if I put this here, I just want to see uh, if, because uh, I haven't actually, no, 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 do that. Uh, this is just a, um, this is a experiment, because uh, it's not that expensive to build one of these. Uh And I, you know, let, let's be honest, I don't really uh, know what I'm doing here. Uh, if anyone hadn't figured that out in the previous episode, uh, you know, uh, that this will just confirm it for you. Uh, right. So, yeah, this shouldn't take long to build. And then I'll see if it can collect uh, passengers. Uh, if it's operating on its own. If it can collect passengers, then this is all I need for uh, construction workers. Uh huh. And here we go. Ah, mechanism is arriving. That will speed things up. And then I'll see what the situation is. Uh, because if, uh, if I can just set it up so that it uh, so workers can accumulate here, uh, I can use that for the construction office over there. I don't think it'll, it'll work that way, but uh, we'll see. Well, that is... Uh, 2947 for uh, population. Uh, I'm going to just bring up the population stats for this year. And as you can see, steady upward uh, slope. Uh, although it does seem to have leveled off a bit. Uh, yeah, so we've got some uh, spiky deaths happening. Uh, but, you know, it should be spiky, right? But it's not popping up to like 100 or 200, right? So... Uh, that is definitely a good thing. And this is just about built. And then I'll see if this does what I want it to do. Otherwise, I'll have to build a proper heliport, which is huge. Um, no, it, uh, it can't be used. Okay. Uh, so, get rid of that. I didn't think it could, but I, I just had to uh, check that. Uh, okay, so I need to do a proper passenger heliport, which I will find. Uh, 
do I have any sm any mods here? Um, right. Uh, do I? Uh, let's see. Hmm. Right. Uh, no. Uh, I don't. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, uh, that means I need to uh, get a passenger heliport that I can fit in somewhere is this is this going to be in range of uh, enough yeah I think it should be uh, okay or do you want to put it up here Maybe I want to put it up here. Maybe. Uh, yeah, if I put it there. Uh, you know what? I am going to... I think I am going to put it up here. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, good. So build that. If I'm going to do that, I'm going to need a pathway that comes down like this. Yeah. Okay, build that too, you know. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think that's... Uh, that should be enough. Oh, and I could. Now, nah, I'll just refuel it with the trucks. I could go straight from the uh, tank, but uh, I don't see the need to do that. So. Uh, okay, so we have. Okay, need steel for the power plant construction, but it's just about done. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, also, I need to come along and uh, you are, yeah, okay. So I need dumpers, total capacity. Two of them? Yeah, two of them. So I'll get the dumpers in place, and then I'll I'll call that quits for this episode, and uh, and then uh, that should be uh, that should basically be enough to get uh, to get that construction operation underway when everything finishes. Okay, is that road? Going to finish? Does it have the gravel? Yeah, it does. Okay, so I'll build that. Right, and uh, okay. Good. And the truck has arrived here. So, uh, so we're going to go here to here yeah yeah okay uh wait until unloaded and then over here we'll wait until till loaded with gravel yep that'll also be gravel yep so this will be the chopper gravel chopper construction gravel uh, okay Save that, uh, assign that to the other truck, and start both of them. Okay, so that'll get us uh, the gravel pile filled in.
Yep. And in here we have, ah, we have both of those filling up. That's good. And over here, that's building. Yep. Okay. Uh, 29.60 here. So, yeah. Uh, so I'll just check in on here. Uh, this year, yeah, it's uh, closing in on 3,000. So, right. Uh, how's this doing? Three! Oh my! Yeah. Okay, we've got access into the train depot now. Uh, right, while I'm uh, poking around over here, I will uh, assign uh, some more uh, track business there. Yeah. Well, I could assign this, these bits of track business as well. Yeah. That seems like it might not be a bad idea. I want to get the stuff going up to, uh, all, like, all of the yard stuff up here done, too. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to put the, put the cut in right here, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think that, that seems like the smart thing to do. Yeah, okay. And we've got enough power here to run these off of this guy. So, uh, what's he powering? Yeah, just that stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. So I think that's fine. Now, uh, that is... Yeah, it's definitely all for now. I'll mention on the way out the door that I do have a Patreon. So if you want to support the channel for some bizarre reason, uh, the link should be in the description. Uh, otherwise, well, the link's still in the description, but you can just ignore it, right? You know, entirely up to you. And all that said, see you back next time.